On the create tab, we also find void, void forms, which are exactly the same as the solid forms. So we can combine all these tools together to create some more advanced shape. Of course, usually um, the model that we will create will be combination of all these tools uh, put together. Uh, so we just need to um, use our imagination in order to uh, to, to put them uh, well together. We will draw some kind of example just so you understand how the voids works, right? So I have, for example, basic some basic extrusion, and now I will go to reference plane and draw a void extrusion also here. Right? Okay. So you see that this void was created. By default, it's always 250 uh, value, but I can always drag it and it's automatically extruded, creating a cutout in an existing geometry. If I drew an extrusion or solid by mistake, I can always change uh, change the properties of this element in the properties window. Okay, and I can change whether this uh, void cuts geometry or not. If I disable it, deactivate it. and now uncut this geometry for some reason i needed to do this also and um, so i selected uncut i can now access the properties of changing it changing it to solid so once i do it it changes to solid okay and again if i go and make it a void I can again make it void. It casts geometry, but I also need to repeat the task of cutting it. Okay. If some things go entirely through the extrusion, you need to be aware that you can uh, do such, such, uh, su achieve such result in a different way, which is more efficient from the file size perspective. So I will delete this void and go to reference level and go back to edit extrusion. Instead of creating a void geometry separately, I will draw just a circle inside it. So I will draw a circle and now we have a cutout going through the entire ex solid geometry. But of course, if we wanted uh, to create a partial uh, cutout, I don't know, for example, let's say on this corner, that goes only 500 millimeters up, then I will have to use a void extrusion. Okay. And now, for example, we can create a rounding for this extrusion along this path by going to sweep void, pick path along this, accepting 3D edges and editing profile. And I will try to draw something real quick. Okay. You see, now the void automatically cuts the geometry, creating a nice rounding, which is often used on many Revit objects.